Hey, this is Wolf from Armoury Train, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a shako. What the hell is a shako, you're asking? Well, if you look at any of the Napoleonic Wars, or the second half of that century, um, the funny looking hats that the infantry and some of the cavalry and most of the officers wore were called a shako. Um, very good examples can be seen in the great series Sharps Rifles, where, spoilers, Sean Bean doesn't die. You know, there's like eight or nine movies, and he survives all of them. But then he is the head main character. So anyway, to make a shako. This one's obviously not together yet. But to start, you go and buy a cheap, cheap hat. Now, in Queensland, the cheapest hats you can possibly buy a New South Wales sports hats because of the whole rivalry thing. So I picked these up for a couple of dollars at one of the Lifeline stores, brand new. And then what I did was the brim on these is just too wide, you know, to make a convincing shaker. So luckily it has a white line on the inside of it here. So with a pair of heavy duty cutters, which I don't have any in hand at the moment. I just trimmed the brim down to that line. After trimming the brim to the line, using some light black leather, light black, yes, lightweight black leather, I simply glued a piece to the top and then glued a piece to the bottom. Now the edge here is a little bit rough, but that's going to get some braiding glued onto it at the end. Now, shakos traditionally were made out of either leather or felt or canvas. I'm in a leather workshop, so I'm going to make mine out of leather. Enter this piece. Some nice, heavy, 3mm thick black leather. And all I've done is measure it to the size of the hat, punch some holes in the back, laced it up. And yes, I know it's higher at the front, but some of them were actually like this so they could put more shiny stuff on the front. Okay, the other thing I've done to it is punched holes all the way around and I'm about to stitch it to the hat. Once it's stitched to the hat, I'll be using some black fake fur and gluing this hat until it looks like a bear skin. And all of this is for Pax Europa which is a steampunk parlor lap I'm playing in this weekend. And tonight being Thursday, I've got two whole days. Well, I've got tomorrow um, to work on things. And then Saturday night, we're LARPing. And I will let you know how it goes. But so far, it's looking really, really good. Everyone else has got great costuming. And the premise is that we're getting together the major powers, being Britain, France, Germany, and Russia, to divide Europe up and sign peace treaties and not have any wars for a generation. Of course something like this actually happened and it led into the whole mess that caused World War I. Hopefully we'll do better with a bit of hindsight. Anyway, I'm going to stitch this to the hat and glue the fur on and then I'll come back and show you how it looked. Here I am inside where it's a lot warmer than out in my workshop and I've just stitched the leather to the hat. So the leather's now stitched on around here and woven together at the back. Now with these hats they are adjustable so I might actually change this leather over so it ties at the bottom so I can tighten it or loosen it depending on who's wearing it. But for me it's got a pretty good fit. Now as you can see I've got a blue band here that's going to be completely disguised when I start gluing the fur on. So how about I glue that fur on and then get back to you and then hopefully the hat won't have this horrible, horrible light shine to it. But anyway, let's see how that goes. Well here I am with the finished shako. I've glued the hair on. As you can see it's much less shiny from over the headlight now. And then I went ahead and glued with the hot glue gun braid to the edge of the brim and up and down the front and around the top. Shakers were also known for having either pom-poms or big feathers on the top of them 
and some of them even had metal shiny plates here. All I can say is a good thing they're fighting with muskets and not rifles, or otherwise every single helmet in the opposition of mine would have their hat removed. Now, I've just shot another short video on this, but a second public service announcement. If the glue inside your hat is not completely cool, don't put the hat on to model it off, because otherwise when you take the hat off, you end up with hot glue stuck in your hair, and then you go get your shop assistant to cut the glue out of the hair. So anyway, with that in mind, this is Wolf from Armoury Terrain saying, go out and make something.